G'day, Ian here again from FPV Power. Just a few of the customers have been asking um, how do we actually use these little pink crimps. So I'm just going to do a uh, demonstration on one of them. My phone is actually sitting on top of a 17 and a half battery. So our battery works great as a uh, phone camera holder. Not really, but anyway, it works. So <clears throat> pay attention to the crimp. This is a, all you need is a tool to crimp it. Now the tool that I have is one of this. See, this is a crimp that we use, all right? Um, you can get similar crimps uh, for about 19 bucks from Super Cheap or Bunnings, and I'll post a picture of it soon. Um, and those are normal automotive uh, wire, uh, wire strippers, wire cutter, uh, and a crimping tool. So it's all in one. Um, I just don't have one here. Um, and, that's, and those are the, the cheap crimps you can, you can pick up anywhere, pretty much. Super Cheap, Bunnings, and so on. So pay attention to that. And when we crimp it, we're actually crimping two spots. We're crimping on one side. See the little dint in the middle to show you the middle of it? You crimp on one side, then you crimp on the other side, left and right. So as we, uh, let me see if I can get this to focus better. Uh, something like that. Yeah, that, that'll work. I've got two pigtails which are just lying around. I'm just going to join the two blue. All right, the two blue. So you want to make sure that you've stripped enough wire so when you put the sleeve in see how that that goes right across past the middle point the middle point is where that is right there I'm pointing with the wire so it goes past because it's going to hit the butt up against here on the left hand side and then when you put on the other one it's going to be the same thing so in other words is you've got your wires sitting like this inside and when you crimp down on it you're actually crimping down on both wires squashing it against the um, the metal casing inside. So let's go ahead and do one like this. And I'll just push it in like so, and you can actually see the wires coming out. I think you might be able to just just to make it out. Yeah, maybe not. But anyway, you can see it from here. And the other one, and it also helps to twist, and so you get just a point. Yeah, you want to just tidy up the cable so there's no no fraying. So when you push it in, it doesn't just go everywhere. Um, I'm just going to push it in, let's do it under the camera. There we go. See that? You push it in and you can, you can actually feel it go zoop, as, as it stabs itself into each other. So that's a nice, even like that, um, it's, it's already gripping but of course it's, it's still very loose. So now with the tooling, um, I like to go to one side of this and select and crimp. And before you start crimping, always make sure to give it a push. Make sure everything is tight there, eh? and it's not coming out. And then I'm just going to choose the correct crimping size teeth, and just going to press down. There we go. That's one side crimped. See that? I'm just going to go to the other side of the divide, and push down. Likewise, and can you see? So um, just make sure that it is. It has a bit of a tooth that goes in. I believe, um, let me think, on the $19 crimps, use the one that says non-insulated. That's a better um, result. It gives a better result um, instead of the insulated. Because even though this is insulated, because the insulated um, are sort of oval and round, whereas these ones, the non-insulated, it gives a bit of a teeth, which is not sharp, but it would just indent better on here. Uh, and they'll, they'll give you the results that we're after. And once you um, what's the word? Once you crimped it, get yourself a lighter or a heat gun. For me, I'd use a lighter, I'm going to use my heat gun. The heat gun I have is one of these. There you go, it's a heat gun. So just do it from the top, blow it at 100 degrees. See, work from the inside and work around. Yeah, work from the inside, work around, work around. Like so, if this is 100 degrees. A lighter will work as well. Just so make sure you get it to close up completely so it creates a waterproof seal. Like so, it's wrapping itself around, shrinking down, shrinking down. Make sure you get it all 360 degrees. It takes a while, but you eventually get there. Like so, like so. Sometimes if you don't have enough cable, 
you might have to cut off, uh, strip some of the black cable out so you get more of a run on the blue, on the inner cable. And likewise from here, they're working. Whoop, make sure I'm in view. Like so. Like so. Good day, how you doing? Good, thank you. It's just one second and just doing a bit of a soldering job here. Uh, that's the courier come and pick it up. Um, the orders. And we are done. That's it. That's a nice solid seal. And that's, that's, that's you have it. See that? Waterproof crimped. And I'm tugging on it and it's not going nowhere. Finished product. Um, and if you look carefully at where you heat, uh, you apply the heat, there's actually like uh, some sort of a liquid oozing out. Because uh, with these, uh, these sleeve, they've actually added some, some sort of a glue, a film of glue inside. So as you shrink it, can you see that? You can, it's almost like a sort of like a silicony, clear, yeah, gooey stuff that comes out. So that, that's what also helps to create a seal. And it, and it becomes very hard as well, see? It's solid there. So the two indents that we saw, bang. Just focusing, yep. So one indent, two indents. So use the tool, use the tool that has uh, the actual teeth. So one side will be round, and one side will have the actual teeth. So use the one that's with the teeth, and generally it's the non-insulated crimping teeth that would do the better job uh, versus the the insulated one even though this is insulated uh, use the one that says non-insulated um, yeah so that should give you guys a good idea on how to crimp your wires um, you want your wires to run through the metal sleeve from here to there and then from this side from there to here so you're actually crossing as before you saw in the video uh, you've got two two wires you're actually crimping down on two wires together that creates a very tight, um, uh, basically fuses it quite nicely.